Hey guys, I've got a MAC starter kit for you today and I've done a drugstore one of these and a high-end one so I'm going to leave them linked below if you want to see them but I thought I would do a MAC one. I know when I first discovered MAC I had absolutely no idea what to get and what anything did so I'm just going to show you now that I'm a bit more experienced some of my favourites. Starting off with this, this is a strobe liquid and I love to put this on any dry areas of my face to add a lot of luminosity and glow. I've got combination skin, it's kind of dry on my cheeks but then I get oily on my t-zone so I just pop this onto my cheeks to add a nice healthy glow. It's so perfect for anybody who wants that Jennifer Lopez lip from within look. Love this stuff so much. On to foundation, if you've watched any of my videos you'll probably know that my favourite foundation ever is the MAC Studio Fix. This is a really really high coverage foundation, I used to think it was matte but looking at it now I think it's more of a velvet finish so it's not quite matte but it's definitely not dewy. It's an amazing foundation for anybody who wants flawless looking skin, like I'm talking doll like Barbie skin, it perfects it so much. I've gone through so many of these and it's just a product that I can't live without. If you've got drier skin and you think that this won't work for you, try and pop it on top of this strobe liquid because it does actually work really well on dry skin when it's on top of that. For concealer, my favourite MAC concealer is the MAC Pro Longwear and I use the shade NC15. I've had this for like way over a year now. Don't know if you're meant to. Oh, you're definitely not meant to. It says six months, but this has lasted way over a year. This is the most full coverage concealer ever. I don't need to set it into place because it just stays there. It's amazing for under eye circles, but it's also really good for spots as well. It covers them up so well. I would recommend this product so, so, so much if you're looking for a really high coverage concealer. On to eyes, my favourite product to prime my eyes ever in existence is MAC Painterly. This is a paint pot and you can get it in a ton of different shades. Soft Ochre is a really good one for darker skin tones but Painterly is good for lighter skin tones. They just come in so many colours but they are so, so, so good as an eyeshadow base. It's the only product I've found that doesn't make my eyeshadow crease. It's like a holy grail, I use it every day. Now the only brow product that I've tested from MAC is actually an eyeshadow and I either use the shade Espresso or Charcoal Brown. I used Espresso today and just filled them in and this, these are really good shadows because they're so pigmented and you can just get your brows really precise but quite natural looking. MAC are really, really well known for their eyeshadows and I think they're amazing. I've got a bunch of palettes that are full up. I think I've got five palettes now which is a bit extortionate and you definitely don't need that many but they're perfect. I feel like I never need any other eyeshadows because I can just use these. Now today I used a couple of my favourite shades and the first one is Sumptuous Olive. This is stunning. It's an olivey shade but it kind of shines a goldy... I want to say goldy burn orange shade but that doesn't make it sound very nice. This colour is so, so, so stunning on darker eyes. I've never actually seen it on blue eyes, but I feel like it would look really nice too. And the next one I used is Woodwinked. This is a super cool shade. It looks amazing on tanned and darker skin. Not so great on pale skin because it does have an orangey kind of duochrome to it, so it can look a bit strange on pale skin or at least it does on me when I've not got fake tan on. But I use this to blend into the crease and outer corner of my eye, just to add a bit of definition. But in the summertime, when I've got a natural tan, it looks so, so, so good just on its own, all over the lid and underneath the eye. It looks amazing. And the last shade I used was Antiqued. This is a really ready toned brown and I just use this in the outer V and lower lash line part of my eye just to deepen the look up a little bit. This also looks gorgeous on its own and it would pop blue eyes so much. For cheeks, one of my favourite, favourite, favourite cheek products ever is Max Warm Soul. This is a mineralised blush but I actually use it as contour. It looks so good on darker skin though as a blush, just like a peachy blush. Oh my god, it looks so nice. But for me, I just take it on a little contour brush and contour my cheekbones out. I think it looks super natural. It's got kind of a gold sheen in it, so it works as a contour, a blush and a highlight all in one. And if you're just looking for one easy product to wear on your face, I would go for this. But I also 
love the mineralised blush in the shade Modest. I got this in a limited edition collection and I don't know if it's in the full range or not but if they ever bring this back or if it is in the full range definitely go and get it, it is stunning. It's a really muted pink shade but it just adds a tiny little bit of colour and looks absolutely gorgeous. For highlighter there is one product that everybody raves about and it's Max Soft and Gentle. This is a powder highlighter and you just pop it on the tops of your cheekbones and anywhere that you want to be highlighted and it adds the most gorgeous sheen and glow but it looks quite natural at the same time it's not like whoa look at all that highlighter on that girl's face it is like quite natural but very intense at the same time which is a juxtaposition check that English out for powder my favorite powder is the Mac studio fix powder in the shade NC 15 I know some people use this as a foundation but I just I can't do that I like to wear foundation so I just set it into place with this it's a really high coverage powder for mascara I love the MAC Zoom Lash, it gives a lot of volume and a lot of separation at the same time. I do think that high-end mascaras are overpriced, I just prefer to go to Boots and get one. But if you are looking for one from MAC, this is a good one to go for, it gives you so much volume. And now onto lips, I'm going to tell you a few of my favourite lip shades. And the first one is Velvet Teddy and it's the one that I've got on today, it's a matte nudie brown shade. This is so pretty if you want something quite 90s looking. My next favourite is called Modesty and it is a lot like Velvet Teddy except for it's in a cream sheen finish so it's a lot more creamy and doesn't feel as drying on the lips but it still adds that gorgeous kind of 90s Kylie Jenner colour. My next favourite is Brave I've used this one quite a bit. This is a satin finish, so it's not quite matte, but it's definitely not shiny. And it's a rosy pink shade. And my last favorite is Russian Red. This is just the most perfect red. Whenever I wanna wear a red lipstick, it's always this. It's a matte, but it's definitely not drying. Honestly, if you're looking for a new red, go for that one, it's so good. And that is the end of my MAC starter kit slash tutorials slash recommendations. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and if you would like me to do another one of these for drugstore because I didn't include a makeup tutorial in that one, I just kind of showed you the products that I think are the nicest. But if I do another I will pick some different products and do a tutorial. Let me know what the one product you want from MAC is and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!